So, this is your Volkswagen Tiguan R-Line. Dynamic and sporty, with distinct muscular front and 20-inch Suzuka alloy wheels. Well done, you've made the right choice. So, let's get you set up. First up, keys. You can open or close the car by clicking the lock or unlock buttons here. Press once to lock the car completely, or twice just to lock the outside and activate safe lock if you've got passengers. You can also open it manually using your key if you need. If you've left your windows or sunroof open, if you have one, hold down the lock button to activate convenience mode. Central locking can also be operated inside the car. The boot unlocks when you push your key or press the button in your driver door. You can also open it by pressing the button here. If you have an electric tailgate, the same applies. You just won't have to leave the comfort of your seat to open or close it. In your boot with variable floor, you'll find your spare wheel including tool set. If you've got a manual tailgate, then just pull the handle recess to close. OK, still with me? Next up, fluids. First, you'll need to open the bonnet by pulling the lever in the driver's footwell. Next, lift the bonnet lever and open. Easy. You should regularly check your engine oil is in the lower section of your dipstick above the bottom tip. And your coolant level is between the markers on the side of the reservoir. Dirty windows? Then top up screen washer fluid here. Make sure you're on a level surface and the engine is cool before refilling any fluids. To close the bonnet, simply drop it from a height of 30 centimetres. When you need to refuel your Tiguan, simply press the tank flap inwards, unscrew cap and place it here. If you've got a diesel with an SCR, then you'll need to refill your AdBlue between 3 and 4,000 miles. But don't worry, you'll get plenty of warnings on your instrument cluster. You should get the first one at a range of 1,500 miles, which repeats every 62 miles until the range reaches 1,000 miles, at which point the warning turns amber. If you allow it to go red, you will not be able to restart it until the AdBlue level is refilled. You should always fill it to the top and not any less. You'll also need to switch on your ignition for 30 seconds to allow the system to reset. You can adjust the rear seat position by pulling up the lever under the seat and the backrest by pushing down and pulling here at the same time, then click into place. To flatten the rear backrest, first make sure that the seat is all the way back and then push and pull as before. There's also a remote release button in the boot. You've also got handy adjustable folding tables in the back with built-in drinks holders. Set your angle like so. Fitting Isofix child seats is simple. Pull off any caps and push in, making sure it clicks into place. Restless kids, to set your child locks, turn in the direction of the arrow. OK, that's covered the basics. Now on to the really clever stuff. In the driver's seat, the latest advanced technology is at your fingertips with a leather multifunction steering wheel, active info display, discover navigation, and app connect. But before we get onto that, how are those seats? Pretty comfy already, you say? Well, you can adjust your seat position by pulling up on the lever under your seat and pushing back or forwards. Backrest and seat cushion height also tilt like so. The lumbar support is adjusted here. Car a little cold? Don't worry, with three-zone air conditioning, we'll have that sorted in no time. Simply turn the dial to alter your individual temperatures or press sync to transfer your settings. The menu button opens more settings within your 8-inch Discover Navigation infotainment system. Not only that, but it also allows you to access a bunch of smart stuff that will help you get around more easily, like CarNet Guide and Inform, Check fuel prices, online traffic, news and weather. And with destination import, you can import points of interest into your navigation system even before the journey begins. App Connect puts your smartphone at your fingertips so that you're always in touch. Just press and hold the voice button to speak to Siri with Apple CarPlay or Google with Android Auto to send texts or have them read out to you. You can also adjust or view your car's vehicle settings. For instance, the tyre pressures. 
Where are we heading to? Work? The beach? That's no problem either way with Discover Navigation. Let's give it a go. Press the navigation button on your touch screen and enter a destination. Great, but before we get going, we have a few more basics to cover first. Like engaging gear. Yes, I know that's simple with a manual, and if you've driven an automatic, you're probably familiar with some of this, but you might need a little extra help with your clever Tiptronic DSG gearbox, if you have one. First, engage gear by pulling back to D. Push to the left to engage manual gear mode. You can go up or down gears by gently pushing plus or minus. Push right to return to normal auto mode, pull back for S, your sports mode, and back again to return to normal auto. Or you can use your Tiptronic paddles on your multifunction steering wheel. Right to go up and left down. Hold the right paddle for one second to deactivate. Next up, your 12.3-inch active info display. Fully customizable so that you've got the right information you need right there in front of you. Navigation, music, driving data, you name it. Your multifunction steering wheel puts your car's key functions at your fingertips. Cycle through menus like this. Explore submenus by pressing up or down and OK to select. You can also control your music, answer calls and set your driver assistant systems. Like adaptive cruise control which keeps you at a safe distance from other vehicles, especially in start-stop traffic. Automatic rain-sensitive windscreen wipers are also standard, but you might need to activate them centrally via the infotainment. Is it me or is it getting dark out there? Where are those lights? Great, let's leave them set on auto as that will cover us for most cases. Front and rear fog lights can also be turned on here. With dynamic light assist optimising your lights on the road, driving has never been safer. Intelligent driver assistance systems like front assist with adaptive cruise control or city emergency braking with pedestrian monitoring also help you manage critical situations. And parking has never been easier with front and rear parking sensors as standard. OK, I think we're just about set to get on the road. Ready? Three, two, one. Did I mention it's got an automatic electric handbrake? Well, that's lucky. It's going to take a little time to get familiar with all the advanced technology in your TIG1, but hopefully we've covered the important stuff. Enjoy the ride. The Volkswagen TIG1 R-Line. Cool, calm and connected.